Save Our Son started uh, back in 2008 when my son was diagnosed with a condition called Duchenne muscular dystrophy. In short, it's a muscle wasting condition. He was two days short of his second birthday. We were told to take him home and pretty much enjoy him while we still have him. There's no cure and no one survives. And I had no intentions on losing him, hence why Save Our Sons was founded. So obviously my son's been the driving force behind the charity. And this is pretty much what started off as a father fighting for his son's life, is now a father fighting for all our son's lives. Emilio, how are you? Good, thanks. What's the best way to describe your dad? An outgoing, funny person with confidence and he can talk, he can talk for days. <laughs> what do you think about the fact that he started to save our sons? I'm proud of him for what he's done for me and the other people with my condition. There's something very special about your son. He just gives you those eyes and yeah, he's yeah. just... <laughs> he's got those eyes, but those eyes when you see him, mate, sometimes I've seen those eyes and they've been sad eyes. He's, um, look, he, he, he tries to keep a, a, a positive front facade, but at home, obviously, he opens up and he, he can sense the frustration. He wants to be like his siblings. He wants to play sports. He wants to have a run with his mates. Um, knowing he's limited um, doesn't help psychologically. It, it's hard. Emotionally, it's hard. It's just hard knowing in the back of your head that you're going to lose your child. So you're creating these memories. You're taking these photos. H hence why I say to everyone, enjoy life, appreciate what you have, because you don't know what tomorrow brings. One, two, three. Talk me through the walks. How many walks have you been on? I've been on three or four walks, and it's to raise awareness for Duchenne by walking around Australia. So people know about it. More people know what it is and how it affects people. The walk started seven years ago. We walked actually from our office to Canberra. We met the Prime Minister. Um, this time we're walking the same, same route but we're hopefully meeting with the Federal Health Minister and the Shadow Federal Health Minister, a number of key ministers that we'll be attending. And the, the key messages we have that we're going to lose our kids, time's of the essence. We have a trial knocking on our doorstep and we need that trial to take place. It's a gene therapy trial and holds the hope of a potential cure. And that's why this walk is so important. We are walking to Canberra, raising that hope and that awareness and that cry for help that we need this trial to take place today to give our kids a chance for tomorrow. What's the hope for the future? That we, I can get on a trial to cure me. We've got so many people that love you. Yeah, I know. Keeps me going. Can we have a Thank hug? Thank you. Yep. <laughs> <laughs>